Hi, I'm Graham Blackburn, and in this episode of Traditional Woodworking by Hand, we're going to be talking about clamps, or is it cramps? Many people say that in the average woodworking shop, you can never have too many clamps. Well, I'm not so sure about that. It is, however, true that I have quite a lot. Now, we mentioned in the beginning clamps or cramps. What, what, what's the difference here? Well, if you live on the American side of the pond, you tend to say clamp because it was the Dutch who first came here and then clamp derives from the Dutch word clampen. But if you started out life on the other side of the pond, then you would have gotten the word from the German, Krampa. And so the Brits tend to talk about cramps, the Americans talk about clamps. But either way, they both do the same thing. They hold things together. So whether you call them clamps or cramps, in point of fact, in my shop, I have a whole selection of different kinds of clamps and cramps, the most common of which are actually not called either. They're called hand screws. And hand screws can go from fairly large to medium size down to really small ones, depending on what the job that you have to do is. And they're called hand screws because they each have two screws and two arms, and you adjust them by turning them around like this. You screw your hands. So if you hold the innermost one and adjust that first to the wood that you want to tighten, then you can tighten the other part and that will clamp the wood really securely. So the hand screw is probably the most basic form of uh, cramp or clamp. A development from that, which is really useful, is was something patented by the Swedish firm Jorgensen to the point where now most people actually refer to these clamps as Jorgensen clamps. And they differ in that the arms go through threaded inserts, which makes it possible for these clamps to clamp things that are not necessarily parallel, like this piece was over here, the first piece that we clamped. Here is an example of how you might want to use a Jorgensen clamp. This is actually the first cutout that's it's ultimately designed to be the base of a clarinet, but it needs to be clamped at an angle. And that's the thing that Jorgensen clamps work best for. Moving on from hand screws, whether they're traditional ones or whether they're Jorgensen ones, we come to a whole family of what is most commonly known as bar clamps. Probably in this day and age, although these were originally made out of wood, now they're all made out of metal, and in fact they're called pipe clamps. And you can clamp anything between here. You can even clamp two of these together just so that you could clamp something as long as the bench. And most of them work on little tilted pins here. And they usually have little plastic covers so that you don't mar the wood, which is an important thing to do. Because a lot of times when you're clamping things, it really helps to put a piece of scrap between the clamp and the, and the workpiece that you're actually clamping. An even larger version than the pipe clamp is this older pipe clamp. Now I've managed to fit some plastic pads in here. This works by pulling this little cam and then you can slide it up or down to the right length. This is an example of one of the longest clamps that you might need to use. At the other end of the scale, there are, apart from these little tiny wood screws, hand screws, there are, as I mentioned in the beginning, 
the actual, what Americans call sea cramps, but which in England, I think a little more logically, from an orthographic point of view, we call G clamps. These also come in a nice range of sizes. Here's a medium one, here's a little smaller one. If you need to clamp even smaller things, then you might need something called a pin vise. Here is a pin vise, and I'm actually going to secure it in a machinist's vise, and now I can put something really small in here, and that will also clamp things. What is it that I've actually clamped here, you might be asking? Well, this is not so traditional, but I have seen old ones. This is actually a corner clamp because it holds two pieces of wood at an exact corner. So I could clamp this piece in here like this. And then if this work piece was mitered, I could clamp another piece in here like this. And I could clamp the two things together while they glue set up. So from bar clamps to pipe clamps to Jorgensen's to wood screws to corner clamps, there are a variety of clamps that you can use in your workshop. If you need to look at even more, then as I said before, I've written several books on this subject. And one of the books that is useful is this one. And this has a whole chapter on clamps, including arcane devices such as claves, which can either sit on the bench or get nailed to the floor, and a variety of other things. So take a look at this if you're interested in holding things together. Hope that was useful. Uh, many of my students say that it really is true that you can't have more clamps than is necessary but by all means look at the book press the subscribe button make some comments i'm happy to answer your questions and come back for the next episode of traditional woodworking by hand thank you